Well, Lee, thanks for joining us here on Blues TV. We're coming to the end of a, a week's training camp here in, in Scotland, and by all accounts, it looks to have been extremely productive. Yeah, um, these trips that we have early on uh, are just like a, a team bonding and hard work and, and getting the, the structure and, and the base into them, you know. So, uh, so, yeah, so far so good. It's been very, very good. You, you bring in new players, new staff, just gels everybody together. Of course, there's been lots of sessions out here on the grass, but how much of, like you say, this last seven days has been about the camaraderie and bringing everybody together under one roof? It's been a lot. There's been a lot of it because you get to learn people's mannerisms and if they're shy, if they're lad, you know, and, and new lads, like how they fit in the group, how the older lads, how they accept people into the group and young lads like Odin's here and Nico you know like so how they react and great experience for them so there's so many pluses for these trips and um, but thankfully it's all been all good uh, all the players seem to be flying and um, and they seem like there's just nothing's changed really from the end of last year they're all fighting and working hard and, and it's great for me seeing from the outside. It's the first chance for the players to meet Mark Kennedy and Andy Marshall, of course, new additions to your backroom staff. How have they settled in and how's that dynamic work? Um, they've settled in well. Uh, obviously, I know Andy more so from on the coaching side. I, I had him at my previous club and he was very, very good there. Done, improved every goalkeeper and so I know he works them hard and, and he makes them better. That's, that's what our role is as coaches, is to make them better. Um, I know he's going to do that. Um, Mark, he's had good experience at other clubs in the coaching side. I obviously knew him, I played with him my last year of playing, so I knew him anyway. And um, again, I think that both of them have settled in really well, uh, fitted in, and, and the players have took on board what they're saying. And, and with, more so with Mark, I, I don't have to take every session now. I, I can just step back a little bit and, and watch. And, and obviously we're a couple of numbers down through the weeks and I'd like to join in as well, which I don't, I like to do because then you see their movements from inside the pitch, you know? Um, and I can see if someone's hiding away a little bit and so it's like, oh, it, you get yourself in there, so you should be in there. And, and so it's good to, to, to join in every now and again. Not in a pre-season time because it's hard work, but, but no, it's, it's been enjoyable. How's the touch? Touches all right, not too bad. It's been better, <laughs> but, but I can get by. I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable enough to be be able to join in. And I know you wasn't happy with some refereeing yesterday. I think Paul Harsley was the the official, but weren't too pleased with some of his decisions. Yeah, well, two touch, and then if someone has three, maybe maybe school wasn't his favourite subject and canting. I don't know, but um, yeah, I've had better refs. Saying that though, I never got on with any ref, so it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> you don't want to uh, kill the players, this is the very first week of pre-season. We've got another four or five week block after this. Yeah. And that, I assume, everything is geared up towards that very first game of the season against Sheffield United and, and working our way towards that date. Yeah, I say to the players, like, um, our job is not to kill them, it's prepare them for the first game. They've got five weeks, to do, five weeks from now to do that, so... This first week is to put a good, strong base into them, which we've done. Um, they've got two sessions left. This afternoon will be tough. Uh, tomorrow morning will be tough. And then that's them done. And then uh, they'll have a couple of days rest because they need it. Long week, you know, and, and a lot of hard work. So, but the most important thing is that we're ready for that Sheffield United game. We'll play games, five or six games before we play Sheffield United. And it's just a case of Getting the minutes into them, building the minutes up. The score line is not important. The only score line that counts is, is Sheffield United, and um, the way we're going, and we'll be in a good place. I have no doubt. Very finally, do you see this season as a continuation of the work that you started in those last eight to ten games, or is this a, a clean slate? You draw a line and, and move on. I think you have to draw a line, but what what you do do, and, and I've I've done this already, is remind them. You see what you've done at the end. That's your capabilities, but now can we bring that into this season? That there is no excuse, there is no reason why, and 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 I believe that we will. I think we're, I think we're going to surprise a lot of teams. Um, we did towards the end, and I don't see why not. We've brought some good players in already. We're going to look to strengthen even more the squad, 
and if we can do that and get the players that we're still trying to bring in, then then we'll be in a, uh, be in a even better position than we was at the end of last season. So I'm excited, and it's only week one, you know. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, the most important thing is that we work hard, we remember what our target is and our goal is, and then we focus on on hitting that target. Thanks, Lee. Cheers.